Hello, everyone. Um, I just got this die from Paper Rose. I don't remember which which uh, supplier I got it from, but I, I really love Aperture dies. And um, this one I just thought was really pretty. So I cut it out of a panel. I used a stitched die to cut the panel to go in line with the stitching around this die. Um, this just makes a slightly smaller panel than the front of my card, which is the length of a, a piece of A4 cut to make a square when folded. Okay, so what I want to do today is to make, I thought I'd make a shaker card. Came across this little box of twinkly bits. I don't know quite the stars and hearts, I think, and I don't know, all sorts of stuff. But I thought I would use, I would use that. I thought I would also use something out of my scraps drawer. This is a bit of what I call relaxed shaving foam technique. I will put a link to the video about this process. But to me, I, I like the look of this. If you do shaving foam, put your colour on, take a print, it's very marbled, very, very strong lines and swirls and things. But if you leave it for a few hours, just to kind of relax, some of the bubbles seem to pop or what I don't know in the, in the shaving foam, but the, the effect that you get is a much more soft, it's much more muted. So I thought I would use that as the background for my aperture. And I, I thought, will it look nice with these on? So what I did was I just sprinkled a few on to see if I liked the look of it. I'll do it now if you like. And I think that would look quite nice, don't you? So I'll put them back in for the minute. But it's just a question of trying it first to see if you like it before you commit yourself. There is a slight problem with this in that... With all this sort of very fine filigree work, um, I want it to adhere to the sheet of acetate that I'm going to put behind as the front window of my um, shaker card. I want all those bits to stick to it. Now, sticking anything to acetate is kind of tricky. Um, could try various things, but I'm going to try today with a sheet of micro dots. I have done um, videos about micro dots before, but the, this is um, a sheet. You can get micro dots from various sources. In, in the US, I know you can get them from Simon Says Stamp. This particular one is from Sticks to Anything. This is it, five sheets of micro dots. So, and they're permanently adhesive. So there are two sheets together. You peel off one, you put whatever it is you want to apply the adhesive to onto it, and that picks up these micro dots, and then they will stick to whatever you want them to stick to. So I'm gonna try, I've not done this with something this size before. So I might get in a pickle, but we'll, we'll kind of see how we go. This is actually a piece of overhead projector film. For some reason, I've, <laughs> I've got a box of it. Don't know where it came from, but I'm not complaining. I've used it for all sorts of odds and ends over the years. So that is what's going to be my my uh, sheet to hold the twinkles inside the shaker. Right. First thing, let me see if I can sort my um, micro dots out. This is a brand new sheet. I thought I'd better have a brand new sheet to give myself a, a <laughs> good chance of having enough dots there to um, to cover what I want. Right, now then, it's that middle bit that I want more than anything. Difficult to see, but... Right, 
Right. Doesn't look like I've picked many up. Let me put that down again. And I'll do what I'm supposed to do, and that is just press down with the top layer. Okay. And we'll have a look. I've definitely got some on there. You can feel that, can't you? Okay. Put my film back over. Now, what I'm going to do is put a little additional adhesive around the edge to hold that piece in position. I can see some micro dots there, but I'm just going to make sure that the um, cling, cling, not the cling film, the overhead projector film is kept in position. Okay, right. Now just press that down over the, and hopefully, yep, they're stuck down. Wonderful. Right, that's the first bit sorted. Now, the next bit that we need to do is to make a barrier around here to contain the twinkly bits. And what I propose to use for that is some foam tape. And I'm going to put it, because this is a circle, not the, not the easiest shape to accommodate, I'm going to just put it in little strips all the way around the edge. Not sure whether I'll do two two thicknesses or not but here we go let's just start putting some and they must meet so that none of the twinkles can escape in actual fact you you can curl um foam tape a little bit if you want to but it's easier to curl if you don't have the top layer on and I'm afraid I get in the pickle if I get too much sticky around the place so just going to do it in, in little strips right making sure I touch each one there was a time before I had uh, used used foam tape I used to use foam squares or foam dots or whatever and that was a nightmare to put around because oh, they're just so little, so fiddly to deal with. Right. We're getting there. I'm hoping that they're very thin, those things. I'm, I'm hoping that one layer of foam tape will be sufficient to give them room to uh, jiggle about inside the circle. And I've arranged this, um, the snowflakey bit of this aperture die to be at the top, so that obviously gravity will take the, 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 the twinkles to the bottom. So hopefully um, you'll be able to see them most of the time. Right, I want to make sure that one joins. Good. Okay. Now, the idea being that will be behind there. But I don't think it matters where on this piece it goes, really. I quite like all of it, so I'm not going to worry which bit I can see. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is to sprinkle some of these into the little well I've just made. Ooh, too many. Oops, put some back. Even that's a lot, isn't it, really? Okay, right. I've got my twinkles in there. And I put them in there first because if I'd taken this backing tape off, first of all, um, I might have... Uh, found that lots of these little twinkles would, would stick to that. Before I do anything else, I'm just going to push them into the middle for a minute. And I'm with my uh, anti-static tool, I'm just going to sweep around the outside here. 
because in the edges of there's probably little bits of sticky that are kind of showing you know so I'm just going to swirl that around to try and prevent any of these from sticking to the inside of that tape sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't okay now I'm going to take off the backing Might be easier if I use a bit of a poker tool, really, but I seem to be doing all right. I like to press down with my finger so that the end curls up. Right, how we're we doing? Yeah. I mean, it's Christ a Christmassy thing, but you know, I am. Um, I wanted to use it because it was new. I don't know where I saw it. It must have been on sale or something, I think, somewhere. Okay, the next thing is for me to put this over. And I can cut a piece. I didn't get that. Could you try again? No, I couldn't. Oh, for goodness sake. I've been trying to work out what it is that sparks him off. And I was thinking it was going. It was a question. But I don't think I... I don't think I asked a question there. Let me cut this down a little bit. I'll use that side. It's nice to have one's work appreciated. <laughs> I know, Mr. Siri. I know. Right, there we go. And stick down. There we are. It's nice to have a friend working with you, isn't it? Oh, my Lord. Now, what I need to do, so that this is flush with the cut, I need to put some tape around the rest of this front panel so that, uh, where's my, oh, there's my sticky scissors. I do always keep one particular pair of scissors for sticky stuff so that uh, I don't chew up things other things that I'm trying to cut out. I've got scissors for ribbon, scissors for rubber, scissors for sticky stuff, scissors for cutting out. Right, now then let's take a look. That's quite nice, isn't it? Look. There, so I'll just stick this onto the card and we'll be in business. Very quick shaker card, using up more of my background that I've got a huge supply of. And, uh, right, just a little bit of a glue stick on the top just helps. If I don't get it quite in the right position, it means I can move it just a little. However, if you do forget to do your, your glue stick and you've got your panel stuck down whatever it might be let's just check this is opening the right way that's the one um if you want to remove it if you just put your heat tool on it just for a little while it will soften the glue and allow you to move it so there we go quick shaker card and now the front bit's all stuck down. I could put a sentiment on if I wanted to. Um, may do and may leave it as it is. And I apologise that I've been forgetting to put my cards onto Instagram. I, I did add quite a few this morning. Somebody told me off. So thank you very much for pointing it out. There we go. Very quick shake card behind a snowy aperture. Oh, actually, I think I'm going to put some jewels on these centers of these they look they're asking for it aren't they i'll do that anyway as ever was thank you so much for watching <laughs>